It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. In the early 2000s, Ben Chestnut and Dan Kurzis, the founders of MailChimp, faced a common problem. Here's the deal. While running a web design company, their customers really were looking for ways to be able to do email marketing, which was becoming very popular back then. And, well, Ben and Dan really didn't have a heart for really doing email marketing, right? They, they, they lack some passion just doing websites. They had grown bored of that. Does that sound like you as a CEO? And they wanted to really help small businesses and email marketing seemed to be a way in. So in 2001, despite all the challenges they had as a company, they launched MailChimp. Now I wanna give you the takeaway, by the way. Here's a spoiler alert. MailChimp, the company we're talking about is a $4.2 billion dollar company. So you may want to lean in, okay, lean in. Because in 2007, the email landscape was dominated by better funded competitors. Does that sound like you? Better funded, crowded market. You don't feel like you're standing out. In fact, back then, 95% of all email was spam. But despite these obstacles, despite the challenges, Dan and Ben said, you know what? We're all in. They took the chips and they pushed the chips all in and they decided, you know what? We're going to help small businesses be able to better communicate with their clients. Now, think about your business as a CEO. CEO, what's the number one problem that you saw? Now, for MailChimp, you know what the success was? You know what it hinged on? A unique approach being very close to the customer. Now, now think about that. They heard the customer's biggest problem. They decided to solve it. And in a world where they tell you everything is about branding, okay, branding doesn't bring in any money, about marketing, marketing is showing up, but it doesn't bring any money. Trying to offer the cheapest solutions, although the cheapest prices doesn't win the best clients. Instead, they decided to solve a problem. I believe that MailChimp, which went on to win, first go to 14 million users, then to $400 million, and today a $4.2 billion business. What's my big takeaway for you as a CEO? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Here it is. Number one, people will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. MailChimp was focused or doing one thing really, really well, which was email marketing and solving a problem for small businesses so they knew exactly who they're targeting. And as a result, they are now generating revenue. They're profitable. And some of you out there right now are using MailChimp. Nothing wrong with that. And they have found their own market. You do those two things as a CEO, and you will see your skies, your sales go up, 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 in a way. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown. Welcome to the CEO Sales Huddle. It is an honor and a privilege to be here with you, you, the CEO, you, the person in charge of the company, you, the person that has the vision for the people you were called to serve, and you who show up as a CEO needing the revenue, and that's sales, to purchase the resources that are necessary to execute the big, 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 big vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And without that revenue, it's not possible. MailChimp wouldn't be here today if they had no revenue, okay? They'd be working for someone else. So we start off every single morning with our mantra. And our mantra is, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. That's not a negative thing, okay? That's not a, oh, you don't already know that. It's to get you extremely focused back on the one area that we know will help you generate revenue in the business. So if you can't focus on sales, repeat after me, repeat after me as a CEO, if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Let me give you the because frame. Because sales is the oxygen for every great business in history. And without sales, there will always be more money going out than it is going in. So sales is really serious business. We also share every morning, and I think we're at the what, three minute mark, probably. I don't know, four minute, 21 second mark. We're only here for 15 minutes, by the way. So you tune in, you're here with me, is our, my, our pledge. And our pledge is as a CEO, learn, earn, and return. You can spin out a lot of different ways, but I want you to look at it through a CEO lens, speaking to your sales organization this morning, because that's what we're here. You're here representing your sales organization, even if you're the CEO even if you're the number one salesperson, even if you're the chief marketing officer, congratulations, you're doing a great job. Even if you're the chief branding officer, the chief admin officer, the chief everything in the business, you're here. And if you have people working for you, you're responsible. So we have four 
three core things we must do every day. We must learn, earn, and return. Go ahead and repeat after me. I have to learn something new. Think about where you are, brand new month, new quarter, new opportunities, in order to earn new revenue from current clients in order to get new and old clients to return. So I must learn, I must earn, and I must return. Now, some mornings you show up and say, Shay, I know you said it every single morning. How does that help me as a CEO? It helps you with the mindset. It helps you with the belief system. It helps you stay focused because if you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. We're here, and we really have three main objectives. Our first objective is sales progress. So we show up to see what are we going to do today to move the needle for the sales organization, which generates the revenue. So it's about sales progress. Let me move that out the way. There it is, sales progress, by the way. And then we're also here to address any roadblocks. MailChimp had roadblocks. MailChimp like you had competitors. MailChimp like you had people that were outspending them. MailChimp like you was probably in a very crowded market. You might be, most of you, in a very crowded market, yet... They had to address the roadblocks in order to solve the problem. And number five, we're here to make sure you understand the five sales objectives that every CEO must know and must understand in order to grow and generate revenue. And number one is sales planning. Now, where we are at this point of the year, new month, new quarter, new opportunities, a freaking new day. If you don't have a step number one, which is a sales plan, I'm going to encourage you. This is this is not a beat me up, okay? This is not a Debbie Downer. This is to encourage you. Go to CEOSalesPlan.com. Download the CEO Sales Plan. Once you do that, schedule a time with my team. It doesn't cost you anything. Get your one-page CEO Sales Plan written. Get it complete. It's not about how much money you have to make. I can get my seven-year-old freaking niece to add up how much money I need based on my bills and my living expenses. No, the question is, what is the plan? What is the sales system, the sales funnel, and the sales strategy to get there? I say that as humbly as I can because I know in your heart you want to do better. And as speaking here on behalf of the chief sales organization, I know you can. Number two is, is, is sales cycles. What's the cycles that the clients go through? Number three sales pillar is sales messaging. Number four sales player is sales indicators that we'll get on today. And number five is a super seven-figure sales team. Those are really the five pillars that every CEO must know and must understand in order to generate a profit and generate revenue. So what is our number one objective? First, for those that are here, thanks for showing up. Every morning, I like to pause because I, I love to read the comments. Some of you send me DMs over at, at I am Che Brown because you can see it right there. Drop me a note, okay? Let me know what you enjoy most about this. Let me know what we can do to add more value to you every single morning. I appreciate you here. For those that just want to say, I'm here. And I'd love for you to say that. It's a way to check in. You can look below the video if you're on social media and you can see us on any of the platforms and go ahead and put hashtag, I'm here. Hashtag, I'm here. That's just a signal because you can see me, but at the end of the day, I can't see you, okay? So i love to connect with you. If you're watching the replay, hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Go ahead and hit hashtag replay. Hit hashtag replay. You're here. Isn't that kind of cool to be here, to be showing up? Now, some of you are like, Shay, what is the CEO Sales Huddle all about? The CEO Sales Huddle is a place where CEOs gather to understand how to sell more faster. So you're already good. I get it. You can already sell. I get it. But how do you do it faster? And, and, and the point of the CEO Sales Huddle is to, is to subscribe to our core philosophy, which is success is a team sport. You can only get so far by yourself. And so we come here every morning with three main objectives. Let me share what those are. I think I skipped the wrong here. Let me share what they are. Number one, sales growth. Number two, sales accountability. And number three, sales consistency. So once you have sales growth, you have sales accountability, and you have sales consistency, your business goes up. We only ask for 15 minutes a day. We're at the nine minute and 24 second mark. 15 minutes is 1% of your day to achieve our number one outcome. And our number one outcome is... $100,000 per month of consistent, predictable, reliable revenue. And for some of you, that excites you. Like, that got you up this morning. For others, it's no big deal. So you, you double the number or whatever the number is for you. But that's at least the goal. And I believe for most of you out there, you're going to resonate with that. If, 
Um, some of you is going to be a big stretch, but others are like, I can do that. No, I, I can do that. I didn't know if I could before I showed up, but as a result of being in this conversation, you know that you can. Now, how do you do that? How do you get there? What drives you there? It's the CEO sales dashboard. Now, the CEO sales dashboard was created to really provide the metrics that you need to drive the business. Now, this is the tool, the number one sales tool the CEOs can use to get to $100,000. So if you haven't downloaded the CEO sales huddle, there's five indicators because CEOs had a problem. When I was working with them, it was like, well, where did I go to manage all this? I've got so much going on, so many, so many meetings to go to. I've got all these emails, text messages, social media, a lot of information coming at me. I just need to know something that I can make a decision. So we created CEO sales dashboard because it did not exist. And it solves the biggest problem you have as a CEO, which is for sales, which is the oxygen for every great business in history. What do I need to look at? What do I need to be aware of? So I can make the biggest decisions. Well, here it is. Leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. So once you click on and you download the CEO sales dashboard, it's going to take you to an Excel sheet just like this. And on an Excel sheet, going down the left-hand side, the rows are, are blocks, leads, appointments, offers, deals, and repeat business. And going across the top, are days one through 31. Now in days one through 31 above that, this is where you plug in the numbers. Now, as you show up now as a CEO, some of you open this up and I gotta, well, I'm not gonna talk about comments and stuff, but some of you let me know it's already done. Every morning it's already filled out. And, and look, that's amazing. Some of you, you're listening, you're tuning in. Even if you haven't done it, keep tuning in. Keep listening. Uh, uh, keep knowing at the top of your head that this information is top of mind to you. So go to today, which we talked about leads yesterday. Go to appointments. Now, generate appointments will be top of mind to you. Just the fact that you're here, the fact that you showed up. The revenue is where you may not want it to be, but that's okay. You're still showing up. You may have had a hard time and had to let someone go. You're still showing up. Maybe you have to hire a new person as a, a virtual assistant. Keep showing up. Maybe you made some investments and you didn't do what you're supposed to do. Keep showing up. You're here, okay? So go over to appointments, and I want you to put down an appointments. How many appointments were set and how many were run? Now, every morning I go deep in one area. This morning I'm going to go deep in setting appointments because there's two different skill sets. Let's show them this over here. There's two different skill sets. There's appointment setting, and then there's appointment running. Let me just say that again. There's appointment setting, and then there is appointment running. Now, appointment setting means you're really good at setting appointments. You can look at your calendar right now and you can set 10 appointments a day. You've got a system in place, some of you to go one to one or one to many. Now, think about that. There's two buckets. You're either speaking one to one on a, on a call or your team is, or maybe on a Zoom call talking one to many. That's still an appointment. But here's what I want you to know. Nothing happens without an appointment. You can set appointments to collaborate. You can set appointments that you can meet with someone to collaborate on how you're going to work together. You can set appointments to generate referrals. Isn't that what it's all about? Referrals at the end of the day, you're able to generate more referrals because you're in that conversation. And referrals are not something that you can do, but you can show up to have an appointment to give referrals to other folks. Now, I want you to look at your calendar right now and look at yesterday's results. When you went and you clicked on your CEO sales dashboard and you put how many appointments were set yesterday, Look at how many appointments were run yesterday. And you could add categories on the left-hand side, but I just want you to see how many appointments were one-to-one. -one? And then how many were one-to-many? And then maybe you have a team. Some of you are supervisors. I get that. So look at your team overall results. And here's what we do know, and here's what we do believe. It's one of our 12 rules for life. We've got 12 rules, but this is one of them, is what gets measured gets managed. What gets measured gets managed, and what gets managed, well, it gets better. Isn't that amazing how that kind of works? And so we're going we're gonna to be extremely focused just on that one area. Now, at this point, we're at the 14 minute and 17 second mark, so I've got to move on. I've been on a rant this morning, but that's okay. We're going to talk about celebrate wins. Now, here's what I do know. Powerful people ask powerful questions because questions, they're focused. And in this life, you get exactly what you focus on. So we're now going to go over and look at what's working for us. What are some things we're doing really, really well, some things that we want to know? So there's three questions that we, we can ask ourselves. Question number one is, what are you most proud of for the sales organization yesterday? Day one of a new quarter, of a new month, new opportunities. What are you most proud of? Look at the sales organization right now. Look at the results from yesterday. What was your biggest accomplishment yesterday? 
So now I look back and say, woo. And it doesn't matter what time the accomplishment came. Some of you got up in the morning and you ate that frog. You ate the biggest thing that was on the plate that's done. Others of you waited till the last minute. <laughs> I raised my hand. I do that sometimes. And you're like, no, no, this has got to get done no matter what. So what was your biggest accomplishment? And then number three, what do you want to brag about? Like if I could bring you on here right now and you could look at your sales organization yesterday and you look at the results from yesterday and what was done yesterday just from the sales organization, what do you want to brag about? And now let's look at obstacles. Because we're not going to sit back and think everything is unicorn, cupcakes, and rainbows. No, no, no. We're at the 15 minute, 39 second mark. We're going to talk about what are some of the roadblocks? So we got three questions. Powerful people ask what? Powerful questions because questions steer focus. And in this life, you get, that's right, what you focus on. So what was your biggest roadblock yesterday for the sales organization? What was preventing you today from moving forward? You got today, it's in front of you. You got your schedule in front of you. You have your priorities in front of you. Where does the sales organization land on those priorities? And then what's the one thing that you can do today? that if you did it, it would move your life and or business forward as a result to just sales. We're just talking about sales organization, but isn't it kind of cool how you can apply this to any area of your life at the end of the day? I know, that's kind of amazing, isn't it? So with that being said, let me give you our final thoughts. Number one, I just want to acknowledge you for showing up, for being here, for tuning in. You know, keep tuning in every morning at 8 a.m eastern standard time if you're watching now live you can see me go ahead and put hashtag i'm here if you're watching the replay put hashtag replay just do a check-in i know it sounds silly but it's not it's a way for you and i to be able to communicate if you're on roku or apple tv or amazon or downloading any of the podcasts on one of our syndicated um channels right now you can't do that just go ahead and send me a note over at, at i am che brown and just put i'm in the conversation Right. Or, or, or send me your biggest challenge. Or, or what would you like to see us do that can help you? We're in this together. I believe in you as a CEO. I believe in you driving the organization. I believe in everything that you're doing. I just want to raise my hand and say, hey, look, 15 minutes a day. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. This is a conversation. We can get in and out in 15 minutes. Well, today's a little bit different because it's 17 minutes and 28 seconds. With that being said, I got to go. You're incredible. You're amazing. You're awesome CEO. And I believe for you as you're watching, the best is still yet to come for you. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. My name is Shay Brown and I'll see you at the next CEO sales huddle. I'm out of here. We got to go. Peace.